हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन डिजिटल सिस्टम डिजाइन कंसेप्ट दिस इज वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो एंड आई एम गोइंग टू कवर ओनली ए सिंगल कंसेप्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल कवर ऑन व्हाट फैक्टर्स अ प्रोसेसर रीसेट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द डिजिटल डिजाइन सिस्टम दैट आई हैव कंसिडर्ड इन दिस वीडियो हैज फ्यू कंपोनेंट्स इट हैज डीडीआर डीडीआर कंट्रोलर एएक्सआई इंटरकनेक्ट प्रोसेसर एंड प्रोसेसर रीसेट and again let me tell you we will discuss on what factors processor reset is dependent on now without wasting much time let us get started and see what is beautiful inside this video friend the digital system design that i have considered in this video is shown on your screen where we have a processor block AXI4 interconnect, DDR controller, DDR, and processor reset block. And the question is why DDR calibration complete signal is always connected to processor reset block. So this is calibration complete signal which comes out of DDR controller and it is connected to processor reset block. And what does this processor reset block do? It clubs impact of all the reset signals applied to it. and if any of the reset signal is asserted it will assert the processor reset that means when all the resets connected to this processor reset block are released then only this block will release processor reset then only processor will come into active state otherwise it will stay in a reset state only friends if any one of you knows its answer or i i will say try to think of its answer and if you come to know its answer please write it down in the comment section and we can discuss it there otherwise i will reveal its concept before telling you the crux of this video that is why we connect calibration complete signal to the processor reset block let me tell you the disadvantage of doing so now let us say for any reason if there is no calibration success between this ddr and ddr controller this calibration complete signal will remain low there can be n number of reason let us say this ddr is not connected or this ddr is loosely connected or clock applied to ddr controller is not properly configured there can be n number of other reasons also in those cases this calibration complete signal will be always zero and this processor reset block will always assert a reset signal of processor so processor will also remain in a reset state and let us say in your system there are n number of other ips also and they are dependent on processor they all will be in a non functional state only so this is the disadvantage but this is very important to connect this calibration complete signal to processor reset block now let me tell you the reason why it is important even though other ips and the entire other system is dependent on ddr controller now let me tell you the reason when we power up our system the power up time of our processor is very quick as compared to the ddr memory because ddr memory needs some calibration process which is little bit time consuming as compared to the processor power up time most commonly if ddr is present in our system we place our application codes our driver codes or linux kernel inside the ddr memory and in that case our processor reset vector is set to ddr memory what do i mean by the processor reset vector when our processor is power up and it is out of reset its program counter will start pointing the ddr memory now assume that i have not connected my calibration complete signal to processor reset block in that case as soon as i power up my system this processor will be out of reset state and its program counter will start pointing this ddr memory and it will start reading the ddr memory but my ddr calibration is not completed yet so ddr can, controller cannot respond with the content in that case our x i interconnect or processor can go into a hang state now this hang condition can be very dangerous for us even after some time when ddr calibration will be complete and ddr will be in active state but by that time our system will be in a useless state friends that is the reason why it becomes very important to keep our processor in a reset state only till the time our ddr calibration is not complete so that is why 
when the ddr calibration is complete this calibration complete signal goes high and we connect this calibration complete signal to process reset block and as soon as it goes high it will release the processor reset and thereafter processor should start reading the ddr memory and everything will go very smoothly this was all about this subject with this i am going to close this session and i hope that this would be interesting and informative for all of you and in future also we will create many such videos and to be aligned with our channel don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching